Hey guys, Christian here. Today we got a Tesla Model X Plaid 2022 edition. We are jumping into the specs right away. So this is about like 147,000. The engine on this is about a tri-motor engine. So it has one in the front, two in the back. No transmission, so you will see in the, once we get inside, it's actually pretty nice and flat. You don't have the full transmission well. You do have about 1,020 horsepower, which is pretty excessive for an SUV, but really nice to have. Zero to 60 on this, it's rated at 2.5 with the one foot rollout. Though there are people getting about like 2.3 seconds. And again, this is the same as a Model S. It just has an extra 700 pounds on top of it. MPG on this, this gets about 311 miles of range. Though we don't opt for the 22 inch wheels and you just get the 20s, you get 333 miles of range. And if you opt out for the plaid or the 22 inch wheels, you get about 348 miles of range. Though your 0 to 60 does drop down to 3.8, but still a very fast SUV if you get it like that. And then final things, weight on this is about 5,400 pounds. This also does qualify for the business taxes because this has more than 6,000 vehicle gross vehicle weight rating. So use it for your business if you need to. And then final thing, if you do need to tow something, this has a 5,000 pound towing capacity. So moving on to the exterior. So this is a nice solid black color. As you can see, really nice, really glossy black. I love the color. Though, again, with black in general, it just gets a little warmer and it gets like a little bit more dust on it so it does get a little dirty easier. But besides that, you have a couple cameras already on this side. So there's one here on the B pillar and then you have a second one up here for your blind spot assist over here as well too. And then going onto the wheels, these are the big, big 22 inch turbine wheels. They're really huge, I love them a lot. Though, if you do want to get a little bit more efficiency, you can go for the 20 inch wheels. And then there is also like on here, the trim basically it's plastic. I wish this was more of like just glossy back, so maybe you could just wrap this or just leave it as is in case you need to replace it. So moving on to the front side. So we have the nice LED tail lights, nice like bar lights as you've seen, same as on the S. I do like them a lot and they also give really good lighting and light. And if you want a small tip with the fog lamps as well, if you turn on your fog lamps, obviously they're for the fog, but they do light up the road a little better in case you want that as well. You have your vent over here and then you have the new front bumper here on the Model X, kind of very similar to the Model S, just a little different of course. And you have a bigger opening in the front too, just to keep the batteries cool in case it needs it. And then with the newer Model Xs, of course too, they kind of blacked out all the trim. We've kind of been seeing that with all the Tesla models. And then I'm gonna open up the front for you guys. So let me just step in real quick. So now with the trunk open, which I open with a front screen on the inside, though you can also open it with a key, the physical key. Though I don't have that, I just have the key card for this. But once you have the trunk open, just simply just pop it up forward. It has hydraulics, so it just throws it up. And then you have a good amount of space in here. Could fit two carry-ons in here. It's a good amount of space up here. So you could fit a good amount, maybe just the stuff you always need access to. Maybe you don't always wanna see it. Maybe you're in your trunk, but you just wanna have it here in the front. But let me just show myself getting inside at this point. So now inside the front, I don't know if you could fit a, few, a full human in here. I kind of fit in here, not exactly comfortably. I'm not sure if you could actually close this on me as you can see, but you could fit a decent amount of storage, just could give you like a little bit of perspective with the human inside of here. So now back outside the front. So to close this up, I do want to show you just to mention it for some new Tesla owners. So bring this down, you're going to hear the first click. So that's the first click that went in. And then with two hands, ideally kind of around the, two, the T here, just push down. So you get the second click and now it's closed. You do get some handprints, unfortunately, but that's how you close it. I do want to make a quick note. I know the shape of this car, it's usually like called like an egg shape for some reason, though I kind of agree with that too, because it does look like an egg. It's just very aerodynamic, but that kind of just helps with the efficiency and everything, getting the extra miles of range. Though you can say if you do have this car, this, will, this egg is a really fast egg because it could be basically any like Ferrari or Lambo on the street for the most part. Moving on to the back side, we have the LED tail lights. Simple, same design that we've always seen on all the other Model Xs. Moving on a little below with that, we also have the Plaid logo here, though I kind of would opt for that kind of like that third party one, which has like the cool red and black lines all over it, but this one's completely fine. Going a little lower besides that, we have the back bumper, slightly updated, a little different diffuser. And then just to mention, this still has the ultrasonic sensors, though I do hear that they might remove them from all the S's and the X's. They're on basically two on each corner, just helpful for when you're parking. And then on the inside, it just shows like how many inches you are far from any objects before you park. Then you also have all this kind of blacked out. This used to be kind of like chrome-ish here. So just blends into the vehicle more, though you still do have the Chrome Tesla logo here on the center. And then right above that, kind of have like a cool spoiler. Kind of wish the Model S has had this. So very cool that the Model X gets to keep this. Opening up the trunk now, assuming the car is unlocked, simply just put your hand here and there's a little kind of like button and it opens up the trunk. All automated at this point. Good space here, as you can see, it has three rows of seats. Not a crazy amount of space, but you do have some space here on the left side. And then you also have a little net on the right side so you can maybe like throw your grocery bags in there when you need them. But there is also a little more space down here. There's leather wrapped. 
down here as you can see we have the charging cable you have a decent amount of storage so for like the stuff you need all the time access to but you don't want to see it you just throw it down there though you might think this might be a little small for groceries even though it is like a hatchback so there's a little button on the sides of the seats so just simply press on that brings that part down and you just throw the seats down so you do have to do a little bit of physical work but switching onto this side just push this throw this down and imagine this so if you don't have a full six seats being used you have a quite a lot big trunk space back here and it's actually pretty high too as well in case you need that completely flat as you can see and then if you wanted to you probably feel like a big surfboard in here in case you want to keep it on the inside and you don't want to just like throw it on top of the car all the time but good amount of space there isn't so tesla does say with the seats down it's about like 90 cubic feet of space but it's a little weird i'm not exactly sure if they mean with like the, those seats move all the way forward so just assume you can see about this much space and i'll show my myself inside now so now in the trunk i'm actually quite spacious back here i know i'm a little lower just to show off how much space there is so if i were to put myself here you could even fit a second person if you needed to or again like a big size dog or you could even have them between the seats but pretty good trunk space back here honestly and really good for groceries so that shouldn't be an issue when you have this though if you do have six people inside the car you will have a lot less space unfortunately or maybe you could just have one of the seats down and one of the seats up in case you do have five people so to close up the trunk there is a little button up here though if you can't reach it there is you could also close it from inside on the screen but pretty easy to close that it brings it down and that's as simple as it gets Moving on to the driver's side. So to open up these two doors, I wanna just show that off real quick. So you have a little bar here. You think you just press it anywhere along this bar, but for this back one, you kind of just push it along back here. Push it in a little bit. And then with the sensors, there's one sensor on top and then a couple of sensors for this side. And it kind of just like opens the door adjustly and doesn't try to hit anything though. If it is your first time, be very careful. Maybe just be ready to stop the door so it doesn't scratch anything. But at this point, it's really easy to get inside, as you can see. This will probably block rain. And I like how there's little like speakers up here, honestly, because as you're getting in, it kind of like plays music for you or as you're getting out too. But at this point, there's two buttons here I want to just show. So you can open and close the door for the top to open it and bottom one to close it. So once you're inside, just press one of these buttons and then it just tries to safely close this. Just be careful with your hands once you're inside so it doesn't hit you. And then moving on to the front side over here. So again, same bar over here. You think you could just press it along anywhere here and it does go in a little bit, but correctly, it's just the front over here to open it. Kind of opens up here, it checks for the sensors. And then at this point, if you need to open it more, you can. And as you can see here, kind of have some plaid material, kind of funny, the car is a plaid. You have a little bit of leather wrap here with the white-ish or gray stitching. You have a little bit of cubby space over here. And then on the right side, you have your speaker over there. And then a couple, two things to mention, you have the nice carbon fiber trim, which kind of just flows onto the inside of the car. And then you also have your nice like white kind of uh, pleather as they call it, which is really strong. So don't worry that it's like not a real leather. But at this point, I want to show a couple of things on the windowsill. So you have the nice little infinite logo there. And then on for the driver's side seat, you also have some adjustments. So you can move forward the seat, move it backwards and adjust the top part of it and also your lumbar support. But at this point, I want to just show off how to get inside the car. So just, you simply just step in. And the cool thing with no hands, I wanna show once you're inside the car, you just simply press on the brake over there and with no hands, it'll just close the door for you. So now inside the car, I did open the door. I know that's not the same continuity, but here in front of us, we have the yoke steering wheel. Again, very crazy. I do want to mention right away, this is not a horn. You would think this would be a horn. Kind of wish this was, but correctly just push it over here. Again, when you're angry, instead of just like mashing your horn like most people would, you just press this little, little button over here, which is kind of funny in my opinion. And then going on to this left side. So here you think this would be your music, but these are actually your blinkers. So you just like push them in and then it just shows it here on the screen as well too. And you can just cancel it by either pressing it again or once you're done with your turn, it actually does kind of like figure out if, you, if it's just turn it off for you. And then again, for this one, just turns on the right one. And then for your high beams, you just simply just click up here and you can even see there on the animation on the screen, it actually shows like the lights lighting up there too. It's kind of cool. You can actually even see the car up here. The, we have the door open. So if you actually show it over there, if you were to point back there, you actually see the doors open as well too. But going back over here, I do want to just show and just, it's kind of cool that it shows all these animations of what's open and what's closed. And then here on the steering wheel, just go on the right side you have your full self-driving so you can adjust that here so if you go up and down here assuming the car was driving you can basically set your top speed for the car and it'll of course try to stay below that limit over here you have your windshield wipers kind of weird again you're used to usually like the stocks that we have on this side but here you just simply just press it and then for all your voice commands you have a little microphone option here 
and then getting onto the screen back here i do want to mention you have so the ac vent is very interesting it's actually very cool so there's the ac vent all along up here and there's another ac vent down here and it kind of just does simple physics and it just figures out how to shoot the air at you very cool i love that feature and then again there's a 12 inch color display so it just shows your mileage here so i have 246 miles of range though you can also change that to just percentage so here on the nice, really, really nice center touchscreen, 17 inch touchscreen landscape compared to the previous models. And I do want to show the amazing LA traffic that we have here. You can see it's really nice. So if you're coming to LA, just be ready for the traffic. It just sucks all the time. Again, at 3.56 PM. But going, continuing here, I want to just get into the settings over here real quickly. There's so many settings. Again, these are like the most of the main stuff you'll probably be using. Again, you can open and close the doors for all your friends as they're coming in and out of the car. You have your glove box here. So I want to just show that real quickly. So opens up really easily gonna close that back up so you have basically all the main stuff you probably ever need to adjust on this first one on the control screen there's a lot more i'm gonna swipe through them really quickly just so you can see them if you want to just pause and look at them a little more closely you can do that this one i probably only change between the chill the sport and the plaid drag strip mode if you're a little crazy but you can also get into that every suspension you can adjust all that to comfort auto sport advance or even the ride height maybe you're going somewhere that is a little bit too steep your charging, you can set all those options here. Autopilot, again, tons of things. I could even scroll down and show you everything, but there's so much I'll let other people cover in super detail. Your locks, you can basically set up your keys and all that. Your light settings, your display settings, the lightness, the brightness. Maybe you want auto, you want light and dark mode, or you want one on all the time. For your, oh, let me go to trips. So trips here, kind of just see how you're driving and your average energy usage per mile. Navigation, you can set some of those settings as well too. Your safety stuff, again, there's so many stuff. I can't get into everything in detail that other YouTubers cover that in better detail than me. And then service, you could set up all, all that. The PSI would show, we just haven't driven the car in a bit. Software as well too, shows have been there, so I'm just gonna skip that for now. And then final thing, I wanna just show the AC, or two actually things I wanna go into. So you have the AC stuff, very cool. So you can see right now it's just one, though with two fingers, you can actually just split into two separate ones. Very cool, it's really fun. I just love how it looks on the screen. Same with the passenger one, you can also just combine it into a single one. And then you can also set your AC vents. You have the heated uh, steering wheel in case you need that too. And then on the seats, very cool, I wanna show that. So most cars do have the three bacon marks. This one also has a blue bacon marks. <laughs> just, I mean, I'm joking. It's just cool seats, of course, too. So I'm gonna just turn that off simply right now. And then going on to the rear seats, again, it shows all the six seats. So the front ones are heated and ventilated, but the back ones are only heated, but very cool. They can adjust all of them and adjust them to three different levels in case you need to, or just turn them all off really easily. And then the final thing I wanna show down here, you have all your apps. There's so much to use. Again, you can either customize this. So right now we have the phone, our music, and the backup camera. Though, maybe let's say I want the calendar on here all the time. Kind of the cool thing, I like having it here, so I just always know what day it is. But maybe you wanna just simply remove it, just remove it from the screen, and that's it. So really intuitive, really easy to use for the most part, but if you need to, I'm sure there's other YouTubers that cover very good detail. So I want to make a quick final mention about the screen. So there's also bow hazard mode. There's actually a really cool thing about it. So I like using it for the reason that in LA, we actually get a lot of fires here. So it kind of just clears up all the air inside the car at least. So it's good for that. Or maybe you have, maybe you have some breathing issues or something along those lines. So that's will help for that too. But the really big tip I want to actually give, I like the bow hazard mode. So if you have like food smell in your car, which of course happens when you get food in the car for a couple of minutes or a simple drive, Turning on the bow hazard mode for about like three to five minutes almost completely kills all that smell, which is really nice. I kind of love that feature about this car. But continue with the inside. So we have two wireless chargers up here, two Q key wireless chargers. I don't know how to say it, but you can basically just place your phones there. So just place them both on there and then just start charging both of them. So at this point, it should charge them. You can see with both phones are now charging. And then I do want to mention, if you don't have the big physical key, you also just place the card on this left side. And your phone, you can still place it on top and it'll charge for the most part completely fine. And then getting onto the center here, again, carbon fiber trim all around. So you can open this up all the way. And at this point, we have two spaces here. So you have a little bit of cubby space, you can just throw some things in there. Or you also have two cup holders. They're on the smaller side. I kind of wish they were adjustable. So if you have a big bottle, you probably just place it on the seat or just place it on the floor somewhere there. It might roll around, but that's kind of like what you can do. Another thing is you can also move this front part forward and then it gives it a bit of like a bigger room, but it's kind of long and it kind of drops kind of low. So it might be too much for some things. And then with these two cup holders, if you're not using them as well, you can move them out of the way as well too. And then you have a ton of space down here. I'd probably just throw some water bottles down there in my opinion. And then you also have two USB-C ports down there in case you need access to that too. 
and then closing this up you can simply just close it like this or you just have it half closed as well too or move it all the way and I'll close it all the way too and then for your armrests again and the nice pleather white again this white lasts really long I've seen white on some of my friends cars and as long as you maintain it in my opinion cleaning with baby wipes maybe every like one to two weeks just to get rid of all the smudges completely fine the white lasts really long too but if you have kids maybe go for the black as well too or the beige but probably black if you have kids but gonna bring this up for the armrest really easy so there's some space in here in case you want to just throw some things in there there's no ports there is a light in there but it gives you a little bit more space in case you need that as well too so i opened the two back doors i want to just do a cool kind of continuous shot so i'm gonna walk back there so at this point really easy to get into kind of cool step in here really easy good spacious you have some speakers up here too really nice white seats they're perforated but again they don't cool they're just heated at this point you have another eight inch touchscreen back here really easy i kind of like that this is screen back here finally because back then on the older x's you would have to just ask the people in the front to adjust all the heating and all that or the ac too so now at least if you have someone here on this row you can adjust all that really easily too so you have heated seats you can turn on your, you can mess with the music you can play like netflix disney plus twitch hulu youtube very cool i just like they have access to all this i know that maybe it's a little small maybe on the lower side some people get dizzy when they're looking down when they're in a car that's moving but it's just very cool to have down there and then you also have two more usb-c ports and then you also have two cup holders as well too in case you need access to that as well and i want to mention a kind of cool thing this would be a very cool car for like road tripping or uh, just longer rides or maybe just going for an hour or two travel cool thing is you have all the space here in the center so you can even put like maybe like a little cooler maybe you want to just have snacks for your kids very useful or for whatever reason if you got to sit someone here in the center i kind of just like fit here on the ground though don't sit someone here in the center for the reason that you should have a seatbelt on but for like any maybe you just want to throw some groceries or snacks for your kids there in the center very easy for them to use so i want to go into the back seats again there's two back seats i have this seat a little forward so as you can see my knee room could be better i can actually adjust it more but for now i left it like this so i could purposely go into the back so once i step into the back you can also move the seat here all the way forward but kind of just left it like that just for the video but here quite comfortable my head's almost hitting honestly it's almost like actually it basically hits a little bit but i'm actually quite comfortable back here and you also have two couple holders back here two usb-c ports and if you need to sit full six adults you're probably fine i think i'd feel comfortable like if i need to sit here for like a couple or even a long hour trip or a couple hours i probably could fall asleep back here pretty fine a little bit claustrophobic i wish this little window was a little bigger but i'd be completely fine back here i wouldn't really argue i probably want this seat just because there's more visibility more space but back here maybe you just want to throw kids or again i'm a full-size adult and i fit back here quite fine so final thing i want to mention kind of switch seats so to close the doors again for these you can either close it on the screen from your key from these two two buttons here as well too or a final one if you are on the outside of the car for whatever reason you can also close it with this little red button up here so you simply just tap it up here and it just closes it for you as well too so ton of ways to actually open and close the door is really helpful and useful i kind of just love that there's a lot of options and you can you go with whatever works best for you so i do want to mention if you want to put any baby seats back here you can actually put two of them on the one of the two center seats here so simply just lift up this little latch here or not latch really but more of like the velcro and then it makes it a little easier for putting in the baby seat so you can actually put some on this seat here and the one that i'm sitting on as well too final thing i want to mention so in case you don't have anyone seated here but you want to go to the back seats so there's a little button over here simply just press on it and then this will move the seat all the way forward and i'll actually even tilt it too so at this point i'll tilt it takes a little bit of time a little mumble there but at this point you can just like walk in kind of easily so i'm good in here now so getting onto the driver's portion of this car so this car again comfort is amazing air suspension really nice really nice and soft and i know the newer air suspensions have like basically like a reservoir so it gives it a little bit of extra just like nice waftiness or you could have it on sport mode if you want a little bit more aggressive it keeps it more to the ground in case you are going a little quicker or more on the canyons visibility on this car obviously the front is amazing you have the full glass all the way up to here basically and then for blind spot assist it's pretty good it shows it on your screen if you do have something or when you're making left and right hand turns it also shows on your screen that camera which is really useful as well too and when you're backing up the rear view camera is nice and big on the screen again 17 inch screen makes it really easy to just maneuver this car you also have the ultrasonic sensors which kind of just like help you like in case you're getting really close to something also show it like an in inches on your screen as well too really helpful again and i know i keep repeating myself
The sound system in this car is really good. It's a 960 watt system with 22 speakers, so it actually gets pretty loud. Has everything good bass, good audio for everything you're releasing more to just like sound or actual music. The rumor is uh, Tesla just like scouted Bang and Alofsen. I might have mispronounced that, but Bang and Alofsen it sound engineer, so they have really like top notch like sound quality in this car. So really nice. Maybe that uh, rumor is fake, but the sound system in this car is like nothing to like look down on. Maneuverability in this car is really good. I'm not gonna show it off anymore. I would just just take my word that I tested it off camera. So going left and right is really easy. Feels like it's pretty accurate. Again, 5,400 pounds on this car, but it does feel like it turns where I, I want it to. Hey guys, so I have me and my friend here. So I'm gonna do a launch from zero to 60. Again, my cameraman gonna get our reactions again we've been doing this for a good while we've also done this with the model s so our reactions might be a little reduced but it's an amazing car i'm prepared <laughs> yeah I'm prepared. <laughs> so ready set and this is just in plaid mode <laughs> I was already my friend's already myself. tilting forward non-track mode just in plaid mode just normal mode <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that was a nice 60 there. <laughs> I'm gonna do a second one with my friend. Again, this is our second reaction amongst tons of reactions, but just gonna try to get that. My friend's gonna do his best to hold the camera. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, camera. Audience. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in there somehow. <laughs> and I wanna do a final launch again from plaid mode, not in track mode. Again, it's really fast. Let's see how good my cameraman holds the camera. <laughs> 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 oh man yeah even though this is a model x a tiny bit slower than the model s this thing every time it, it makes me just like grin non-stop it's it's amazing i got adrenaline rush here guys the camera might be shaking for sure yeah it's an amazing car you can't go wrong with this and i want to do one rolling launch just for fun at 30 so from 30 to 60 real quick so ready yep oh. i didn't you didn't go you didn't even say go <laughs> <laughs> As for my review again for the Tesla Model X Plaid 2022 edition, again, there's so many great things about it. Honestly, this is my new dream car out of everything I've driven. This really stands out. I know the tiny is a bit slower than, let's say, the Model S, but for the trade offs, I'd easily pick this. Again, 0 to 60 on this is about 2.5 seconds with one foot rollout, estimated by Tesla, though people are hitting about 2.3, so it's surprisingly fast. Again, 1020 horsepower, it's pretty crazy, pretty sick. But besides that, we have the create space, six seats. So if you do gotta fit a lot of people, really easy. Or maybe you have the two back seats down. You have a lot of space in case you need that as well. Other thing I wanna mention, you also have the cool Falcon doors, as you can see. Looks really cool as you're coming out or opening them, maybe for your friends as they're walking up to the car. It's quite amazing. And then final thing I wanna just mention, efficiency. Again, you're on not driving on gas, it's electric. So if you do drive efficiently, you get that full range and it's just like you're plugging at home. You don't have to go to the gas station anymore. So I hope you guys enjoy the review again. This is my new dream car. Let's see how long it takes for something to beat this, but this is quite an amazing car. But at this point, hope you guys enjoy the video. Like and subscribe till future videos. Always have some cool stuff for you guys. But at this point, thanks again for watching. Till next time. Oh, I got to close it from the front. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a cut. You also have your ultrasonic sensors all around the car, kind of like for two for each corner. corner. <laughs> and then once you're inside, you can obviously sit in the car and everything. You can either close the door from up here. If you want to just see up here, there's a little red button or over here. More to your right. You're pointing right here. <laughs> see, now I know it's right here. Let me do that again.